Hello and welcome to the Hospital Rooms Digital Art School. You are about to watch a workshop with London-based artist Alvin Kofi entitled Mask Making. Alvin is a prolific London-based artist who was previously a finalist on Sky Art's Portrait Artist of the Year. Please click the link below to find all of the materials and do remember to subscribe to our channel. So the masks we're going to use as our inspiration, they're referred to as the blade mask, right? So what we're going to start with is our lower part, the lower half. I'm going to take you working with a marker. You can work with a, um, a black marker if you would wish to, or you can work with paint directly. That's your, of your own choice. And I'm just using these as, as, as reference points to measurements, right? But first, first I'm going to just get in my circle. You might want to do it thicker, but for now, remember it's kind of more like an inspirational piece. So that gives me my bottom half and what I would do is just take my time just to get in a little reference so they give me a little spaces where I can measure up where my eyes or other, other sections are going. And then I'm going to start with my upper piece. I'm going to join on, obviously it's there, so that gives me a reference here. And then bring in, join around. If you've got a steady hand, you may be able to do this freehand, but the, these templates really help a lot. Particularly if you're working with children and you want to get a, a nice accurate temp outline. Again, I can put in my marks there to just give me some reference points. And what I will do, I can then go to my ruler. Well, make sure ruler. It's got my reference points there. And I can bring in this line here. This line here. And I can divide that up. I will go to my circle. It gives me a rough idea. I can kind of visually line it up. Then go to my eyes, which I'm going to do it kind of base it on my upper section there. And I'm using my smaller circle. I'll never get that really piercing look into the center there. Fairly simple, but they're quite effective. And I can now introduce my For the, what I will do is again and I'm going to put in the section of the nose so I'll come and use that as reference points here come on to the other side yeah and just so it's going to come from my center. And let's put in a, one of the sides of his nostrils here. So our mask is taking shape. So I'm going to go back to my circle and I can half reference it. So I use the base to give it, to bring in a shape here. So I can half circle the bottom. I'm using the, the photograph still as reference to kind of give, give me a gentle guide. Your mask will begin to take shape. So what I will do is I'll bring in that shape again here. And 
to the other side. Now I'll take, we've got some, um, another shape in the middle here, but let's go to our top section. So I can use my good, i roughly good at a, a grid. Too accurate. Come in here again, half. And I've kind of got my outline now. So and let the, let it inspire you as it goes on. Just let this inspiration come to you. What you feel is necessary. So I'll, I'm going to do. I'll take a line across here, and then bring in another line just to give myself and accentuate this should accentuate our surprise look on our mask and what I'm going to do is then drop another line in here so now looking at your mask see what you need in terms of color so we may want to do it as on our reference from the photograph, I'm going to divide up here, and then I can begin to colour in my opposites, right? So I come in here. And when using these masks, kind of as as inspiration, in terms of how you would like to feel, whether you feel inspired inwardly outwardly you know sometimes you may you know you get up and you want to just do something that just moves your mind to another space so you can make a mask to change your mood and we can always change our moods in terms of our character Let's go from here, here, here. There we go. And we'll just do a few more things. Yes. Yeah. Color this section. mask is starting to take shape and from there you can add on other things if you like you know patterns into the outer areas you can drop maybe something that you would hold your mask with and add on areas um, things to the sides of the mask would it be a pattern work in here which is always nice to do kind of starts to bring your mask alive pointing downwards your mask will take shape and then you can add on more color, um, introduce color into the eyes, into the nose, and kind of really get a sense of how you want to express yourself. That's our, that's our session for today. It gives you an introduction to what you can do with mask, you know, and you know, with the hospital rooms, you want to take these workshops so you can inspire yourself, move yourself out of you know, the mood that you're in, um, and really kind of just enjoy the process. Yeah, and if you can go online, look up any references that you can and um, take it as, as inspiration. Thanks for coming. I'm Alvin Kofi and I'm really glad you joined us and hope you join us again. All right, take care.